On Monday, May 19, 1986, this question was put to Mr. Jim Maddox, who is the Attorney General of the State of Texas. Quote, is it true that the State of Texas owns our children? Mr. Maddox responded, quote, yes, it's true, and not only your children, but you too. <laughs> How's that for candor? This is the current Attorney General. That's one of my students. He went through one of my classes and he said, I cannot believe that the state owns my children. So I said, well, gee, why don't you go ask your Attorney General? He's the chief trustee for all of the children in the state of Texas, and he did, and he sent me back that affidavit. Now here's a letter from a lady who on August 6, 1985, had twin girls born down in California. Listen to this. As I understand it, this is a letter, by the way, from the Department of Public Health. This lady didn't get birth certificates for her children, and a question arises. Well, if you don't get birth certificates for your children, how is that going to impact those children in the next 10, 20, 30 years? What do you think would happen to somebody who was born and didn't have a birth certificate? Could you imagine such a preposterous circumstance? As I understand it, you gave birth to twin girls on July 30, 31, 1985 in that Mercy Medical Center in Reddick, California. I also understand from the hospital staff that you did not desire to register the birth of your girls with them at this time. I'm writing to inform you of information that you may be unaware of. According to state regulations, if you don't register your daughter's birth within the first year of their delivery, they would then have to be registered on a delayed registration of birth form and the cost would be at this time $15. So the first problem that you run into is that if you don't get a birth certificate, it'll cost you 15 bucks later on. Well, I would presume that if you went to all of the trouble of delivering the child and then secreting the child out of the hospital and withstanding the incredible intimidation that the doctor and the hospital staff is going to heap upon you for trying to get this child out of here without a birth certificate, that 15 bucks probably wouldn't be that big a deal, would it? <laughs> Considering the fact that you delivered in the hospital and you had a physician in attendance, this would probably be of no consequence or trouble for you now. But in later years, this may be a problem for your daughters. So when they get to be 20 years old, this could be a problem because they don't have a birth certificate. Can you imagine what kind of problems could arise? I'm sure you're aware of the utmost importance of having a birth certificate as soon as possible. How many of you can think of five utmost reasons why you should have a birth certificate as soon as possible? Let the record show, one man raised his hand. He evidently can think of five. In 20 years, the hospital records could have been destroyed and your physician may not be available to help you or your girls. Now consider the fact that in order to be registered for school, you want to send your children to the public school, got to have a birth certificate. Apply for a marriage license. You want a limited general partnership with a state in control? To do that, you have to have a birth certificate. Grants or scholarships in school, the state of California requires a certified copy of a birth certificate. So if you want to go to the University of California, you want to go to college, you want to get grants or scholarships, you have to have a birth certificate. The federal government requires a certified copy of a birth certificate when applying for military service, a passport, or a social security card. So if you want to register for the draft, if you want to travel on a U.S. passport, many people think that's the only way you can travel, but there's five ways to travel four of them without a passport. I travel. I don't have a U.S. passport. Now, if you, if you want to go into the Army, how many of you want to go <clears throat> make the world safe for Standard Oil, Exxon, and Texaco? You've got to have a birth certificate. When you realize all of the times that they may need their certificates of birth, you may want to contact me and we can arrange to have them taken care of. Please contact me if you have any questions.